hello everyone in last videos we have learned how to use various tools available in avogadro software in this video using these tools we are going to build different class of chemical substances including inorganic compounds organic compounds biomolecules substances which are used in material sciences let us starting to build boron trifluoride so first i am going to select the boron from drop down menu now click on the display panel boron is there so bf3 has a boron atom with three outer shell electrons in its ground state and three fluorine atoms containing seven outer electrons so let us select fluorine from this drop down menu and drag from here one more now we have three fluorine atom attached to the boron atom so during the formation of this compound 2s orbital and 2 2p orbitals hybridize and the three hybridized sp2 orbitals are usually arranged in a triangular shape so let us see whether it will be arranged in triangular or not so click on the auto optimization tool already force field selected universal force field that is appropriate for the inorganic type of material so we are now going to start auto optimization so within a fraction of seconds it is auto optimized now let us select uh, the navigation tool and we have to check this whether it is planar or not so it is perfectly planar all three fluorine atoms are in the plane now if we suppose click on the measure tool so before that we have to stop the auto optimization so now we can measure the angle by using the measure tool so click on this fluorine atom then boron sorry it is perfectly 120 degree so boron trifluoride has basically triangular shape let us now draw nitrogen trifluoride so first i'm going to select nitrogen then click on the display unit now then select fluorine then click and drag click and drag click and drag so this is our nitrogen trifluoride so first we will go to the auto optimization tool universal force field is already selected so start the auto optimization very soon we are getting the optimized geometry let us click on the navigation tool so if we see through this navigation tool then we find that molecule has a planar shape but as we know that nitrogen trifluoride is not planar basically it is pyramidal so this optimized geometry is basically correspond to the local minima not it is global minima so for getting the global minima we have to manipulate the atom so for manipulation let's i'm again selecting the navigation tool and then select the manipulation tool so by selecting this manipulation tool you can change the 
plane of the molecules. Yeah, we have changed the plane. Now again we will auto optimize it. So start the auto optimization, and within fraction of seconds, it will it will auto optimized. Now stop the auto optimization and click on the navigation tool and rotate this. Now you can see that molecule is in the pyramidal shape and this is the global minima of this particular molecule. So in the molecular mechanics you should know the starting geometry of the molecule or compound otherwise you will not get the perfect geometry. Now we are going to build triphenyl phosphine. Synthesis of uh, triphenyl phosphine involves reaction between phosphorus trichloride, chlorobenzene and sodium. So first we are going to select draw tool and select already selected phosphorus from the drop down menu. So click on the screen. Now next select carbon from drop down menu. Then click and drag. Click and drag. Click and drag. Now prepare a ring including these carbons. So click. One ring is completed. We are going to create other ring. This can be easily done by holding down the left mouse button and drag it. So now our structure is ready. So triphenyl phosphine crystallizes in uh, triclinic or monoclinic modifications. So in both cases the molecule adopts a pyramidal structure with the propels uh, like uh, arrangement of the three phenyl groups. So first uh, we need to complete the valency of the carbon. So I am clicking uh, this bond, so it will convert to the double bond, double bond, alternate double bond should be there, then double bond, double bond, double bond. Now we have created all al alternative single or double bond. Now we have to adjust the valency of the carbon with the hydrogens. So click on the check button adjust hydrogens. Now click on the carbons. So it will automatically add carbons. So I am clicking on each carbon atom. Once I go to the navigation tool and reduce the size, yeah, it's now perfect. So first uh, we will go to the auto optimization tool. Force field, universal force field is already selected and click on the start button. So it will minimize the energy and you will get a local uh, energy minima. So we will wait up to, yeah, now the change in energy is zero. So this is the optimized energy. So do not forget to stop this auto optimization tool. Now we have stopped and click on the navigation tool. So if I see, this is a perfectly planar structure. 
this is a perfectly planar structure uh, but we know that a triphenyl phosphine uh, adopt a structure uh, just like a pyramidal uh, with the propels like uh, arrangement of the three phenyl groups. So, we need to adjust the phosphorus atom here by using the uh, <coughs> tool available in this Avogadro. So, I am clicking on this manipulation tool and I am just holding the left mouse button and dragging it up. Yeah, it is now up. Again, we are going to the auto optimization tool and start the auto op optimization. Yeah, very interesting phenomena you can watch here. So, the planar structure now changed to the pyramidal structure. First, stop this auto optimization and go to the navigation tool. Yeah, this is now perfectly. You can set the auto rotation also. So, by this, I am setting the auto rotation. Yeah, start this. Yeah, very good. So, this is the structure of the triphenyl phosphine we have created using the Avogadro software. So, stop this. In next lecture, we will discuss the crystal structure using Avogadro software.